guys, welcome to my house tour. Um, I just wanted to show you my doorbell before we go in, but yeah, isn't this like the cutest? I have a normal one that is significantly less interesting, so let's go in. white tiles <laughs> it's just the little things you know the little details that make the house so let's go in the first thing you see when you enter is actually the washing machine it used to be cleaner than this but just because i got a bit lazy so my outside clothes is still here it's great that this is a washer and dryer so if anything happens if anything happens i don't have to go to the coin laundry which is awesome i guess this is the kitchen area the house isn't very big so like one step in Cameraman is having some trouble taking off her shoes. This is the shoe cabinet. Pretty full, very messy, and also like these were at a weird height and I can't readjust them, so I'm just like squeezing my shoes to fit them as much as I can. Some accessories, perfumes, some albums and books for display. I kind of like this. It's like after I get ready, I come here, choose accessories and like little badges or whatever, and then I'm out the door. Cool. This is my kitchen. I fought really hard to find a place that has like a new system kitchen that means like new stoves and whatever this is called vent ventilation whatever. Two stoves, awesome, cool, cool, cool. Um salt and sugar. Important information. I propagated this little guy from that big guy. Pan to that big guy. Cool, cool. It hasn't grown, but it's not dying, so I take that as a good sign. Do I have to show you what's in my drawers? I, are you interested in seeing what's in my drawers? This is how I store my stuff. Not very interesting. Pots and pans. Up here, it's a very small storage space for some plates and whatnot. I think that's the only thing I don't like about this kitchen is that the storage space is quite small. Which is why I had to get a little shelf here. So before we head into the toilet, I just want to show you this little shelf that is really wonky. So Japan has a lot of earthquakes and I'm just really afraid that one day this is just gonna go because it's like not it. I did it myself, not very proud of it. I don't know why it's like this. I don't feel like I did something wrong. I followed the instructions but stuff that I don't know where else to put is on the very top which doesn't look very nice. But it's okay, don't zoom that. Don't zoom! Oh my god. The second one is more like pre pre-packaged meals and seasoning and medication. A cough syrup. Chinese cough syrup, pipaka and everything. Down here's a cute picnic basket full of all my trash, plastic, sauces, teas, and bread. And down here is my appliances like my kettle, rice cooker, blender. My mom bought me this big boy of oil and I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. I think she, she thought I was going to fry stuff like tempura or something but I just don't think it's happening in this household because I don't want to clean. Hey, this one, big fridge, nothing very interesting, also kind of messy and gross, sorry. Freezer, chiller, cool stuff, uh, a fridge, <laughs> this is so big. I think this is a pretty big fridge for a Japanese standard, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big, right? mine's a lot smaller than that. Right? Ooh, sounds of summer. You hear that? It's the semi, the cicadas coming right through the window. This is an oven, microwave oven. And I know this is not the best place to put it because I can't see what I'm cooking. But I have no other place to put it, like on eye level. Let's move to the toilet. So I would say that this is my dream apartment because I fought, fought. No, I, I, I tried finding this place for like four months and then I, I fought for it for like a month. And yeah, separate bath and toilet, very important. I used to live in places that have a combined toilet and like bath and I think that's pretty common in Japan but I really don't like it I feel like once you once you live in a place that has it separately you can't go back my little like club thing <laughs> what do you call this? and everyone who visits my house hates it because it's just very hard to walk through but you know what? you gotta sacrifice because beauty is pain and it's worth the aesthetic is it not? it's just so cute just do this every time you walk through it or like your hands are dirty you just like this. It's not that hard. You wanna come in and see the sink? Can you fit? Or like you wanna just put your lens through it like this? <laughs> this is my bathroom area. This is me. This is my bathroom. So I like 
a big tub, very nice mirror, wood finish and everything. So yeah, I think this is a really pretty toilet and I'm very happy with it. But the only thing I would say is that my tub is an old one so it doesn't fill in automatically or it doesn't reheat the water so I can't use a bath more than once, which is kind of wasteful. So maybe the next time if I have a new Japanese apartment, that's the first thing I'll be looking for. This is the sink area. I don't know what to say. You can see the cameraman. Hi, Ella. Hi. What I love about this sink is that it's not one of those typical Japanese sinks. Have you seen one of those big ones? I'll insert a picture. It has those really neon, like fluorescent white lights. They just like shine in your face. I hate that. Square sink. Come on. I hide a lot of things at the bottom here with baskets and a little towel. So all my secrets are in there. But look at this cute rainbow mat. I got it in Korea. Did a uh, Whole video for it once. Never finished editing it, so I'm sorry about that. The toilet! I really like it because of the wooden seat. It's not a new total like automatic toilet that has the bidet and everything, which is sad. <laughs> Zooming into the 17 posters. Gotta have them. There is no other place in the room that I can put them. It's kind of awkward though. I'm just happy you didn't put it here so it's not an eyesight when you're taking a dump. I mean, I'm the only one who takes a dump here, so... I mean, my guests <laughs> will have a hard time digesting, especially guys. I think like when they go do their business this way and then they see the handsome guys this way, they're gonna be like, why am I looking at them? And I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. There you go, that's the toilet. On to the main... Shut up. Shh. Everyone loves this. One of the characters of this house that made me immediately like fall in love with it is this archway. Thing. I think the cons of it is that it's not a door so like the air is like it goes all the way through my aircon doesn't stay cold because of this and my heater doesn't stay warm because of this but it's cute so are we complaining no it's just so cute okay come on I will give you a tour of my workspace how about that so this is my desk and my little green chair I spend most of my time here I would say because I work on my jewelry my crafts some earrings I'm working on and I paint here. I feel like a lot of Japanese apartments are so small and a lot of people don't make space to have a table or a desk. But I can't do that, I can't compromise because my workspace is so important. I used to have the yellow and the pink one for storage. The yellow one moved to the kitchen because I realized I don't have space here. So all of my craft storage and whatever I'm working on is here. Maybe some packaging stuff all hidden here. All of my orders that I haven't shipped out yet, hidden under the table. My goal is to get a way bigger table the next time in my next apartment so I find that my table is usually covered with everything I had to clear most of it up just for this video so you can see that I have a table and this is my bed so this is like a semi double size in Japan which is I think just nice for one person to roll around maybe not big enough for actually two people I bought this almost $400 bed frame but I think it's so pretty and it's really useful because of the like the output charger thing over here I have the same bed sheet in green and pink because I have this thing for like gingham and like green and pink together so yeah if you can look around my house most of the stuff is green and pink themed green, pink and yellow I would say the great thing about this frame is there's also extra storage like underneath you can hide stuff yeah Singapore money not even know where my money is <laughs> this is my chill area it didn't always look like this I recently did an upgrade and then I didn't know I was gonna move so I bought a lot of things and I'm like hey now I gotta get rid of everything so I don't make very good financial decisions when it comes to aesthetics and decorating Are you filming me or are you filming the room? Yes Are you filming me or are you filming the room? Yes! Oh. I invite friends over to come and chill We eat here Sometimes when I'm bored of my table or my table has too many things I sit down here and I do my work This is my little 17 Hoshi shrine This is where I put all my little Uchi was Hoshi Hoshi Oh my god, it seems kind of crazy if I hang their faces this way. It looks kind of scary, so I put it this way. And here is my little art inspiration wall because my desk used to be on this side. I have some old pictures which I will insert, but my desk used to be here and the couch over there. So things are really different now and I feel so much freer or like more creative in this space. I wish I moved it earlier, but it's okay. Better late than never. This little map is actually hand drawn from the lady at the farmhouse that we stayed in in Kumano, one of the Tokyo Creator videos. She is so talented, she drew literally like the whole space so I brought one home with me Some album pullouts, art from other artists and really old painting I feel like this house too is going to be over so soon because my house is so small My cute little potty pot 
even though the bottom part is quite gross, whatever. You alright buddy? Aw, yellow leaf. This is my wardrobe space where I get ready. Hi Ella. <laughs> Are you ready? I feel so thankful because I know you can't see how big this wardrobe is, but it's so huge that I can keep and hide so many things in it. This is how it looks like. You can only see it in the daytime because there's no lights inside, so at night, it's pretty much pitch black. Let me bring you through a bit of my organization. I used to sort things out by tops and jackets and whatnot, and I find it really hard to find things, so I just put everything by color because I can remember what I have. So it's just like from light, beginning of the rainbow, to the end, and then I like really long coats that I just like let them hang. I used to look at this and be like, wow, I don't have enough green clothing and I'll buy more green clothing just to fit this, like just to make it look nice. My socks is also in rainbow. This is a very easy way to find your socks and what you want to wear. If you have a lot of socks like me and you have them in balls, like you still roll them in balls and you can't find your socks ever, I highly suggest this method. I just think it's really easy to find your socks. Skirts. Ooh, what a bad noise. It sounded like a fart. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. It was a bag. I swear. Skirts, long pants, little accessories and hats, thermal wear, towels, pyjamas, bags and whatnot. I hide so many things in here, all my recording equipment, all my packaging. Is it weird that I'm squatting? Extra chairs, my vacuum cleaner, my luggage, everything is in here. I'm not even mentioning the top space that I have here. This is a mattress, boxes, canvases. Just like so many things, I have so many things. This is a freaking yakiniku barbecue thing. Hmm, last but not least, you can't forget my famous, what I'm known for. This is my only outstanding quality personality trait. This is my wall of earrings. I haven't updated it in a while, but it's always growing. Today I'm wearing like a little piggy one. Oink, oink. Cool. Just before we end the video, I think I should bring it out to my little veranda space. Like in Japan when you find apartments, they have this thing where you can choose if you want a veranda, like a terrace or a balcony, like how big a space you want it to be. For me, it wasn't really important. I did think about putting like carpet grass in a little like sitting area outside so I can chill in the springtime with some tea. It never happened because I, I think I just don't like to leave my house. And it would work a lot better if I had a big space. I just totally like neglected the space and I used to hang my laundry outside but not because it's like the rainy season. I can't really do that. But let me just bring it outside. I love that the Japanese apartments have this netting. It protects me from the creepy crawlies and the insects which I hate. So warm today. Can you see me? No? Yes? Hi, welcome to my apartment. <laughs> it's literally this amount of space. Like, the width of my body. This is the amount of space that I have. And I used to hang my laundry outside. This is it. It's actually pretty nice outside. That is the end of my house tour. I'm gonna do the outro while I stand in front of the aircon. Cool, cool. So I guess I took way too long to do this video. I was supposed to do it when I just moved in, but I guess it just never felt right. It just never felt like it was completely ready and in a perfect condition for me to film. But I guess because now that I'm leaving, I have to do it before I leave and then I can document the space and remember my time here, right? I hope you guys enjoy that a little bit into my intimate and comfortable space. I hated every part of the process of searching for this apartment because looking for an apartment in Japan while you're a foreigner completely sucks. But I really love this space. I feel like it's totally worth every bit of effort that I spent trying to find it. Even though, sure it's not very smart money wise, buy so many things to decorate your house, but I totally loved being here and so comfortable for one year and I feel like that's worth it. Like to me. I'm excited to go home and excited to decorate my next place. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a video sometime soon. Bye bye. Bit ways framing now, where am I? It's above your knees. I think you can come closer. I don't need to then see the door.